We're in Hong Kong. And yes, this is how I always travel. We have to get these computers set up so they're really reliable and installed in our factory so we can flash chips. Check all the test fixtures that are set up with our manufacturers. If everything happens nicely, it'll be six days of very tightly spaced back-to-back -back action. And when something gets screwed up, it'll create colossal cascading failures, which will be very exciting. We're here at Etadoc. We're at one of our factories outside of Shenzhen. And this is where we're producing some of the alpha chips. These may not. I don't know if these will fit. This is our first time looking at these test fixtures that we had made, so we're learning a little bit about their peculiarities. Did we make them rush a lot for these or something? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it's not good. This is not good. These are trash. This is torture. This is so bad. <laughs> Vanessa. If we can't trust that the test fixtures are made to a quality where they're all going to say the same thing, it puts us in a really rough spot for knowing whether the chips that we made are good. All this messing around is us fixing our things, not us fixing Editox things. Right now we're just going to take a bunch of chips and do an audit to make sure that all the ones that are passed are good. Fail. Uh-oh. <laughs> so for some reason, a lot of the chips that are already flagged as having been flashed are not flashed. So either it's that our flasher is not actually working, or it's that they weren't actually flashing them. Like I basically have to take everybody back to hacks, put them back on the network, and then figure out why these are not passing. This stuff has to be really, really bomb-proof at the manufacturers, and it's just not there. We are going to go fix those fixtures, the ones that we saw at Etadoc the other day. My favorite thing about being around here is that when I need something weird, like 25 watt aluminum cased industrial high wattage resistors, I don't have to order them and wait for them to be delivered. I go across the street and I pick them up and I like walk around and just get them from a vendor. That part's really awesome. Yes, this, is my, this is my home. It's like same day Amazon. It feels like the, the same way that there's a lot of discovery when you're doing something for the first time. It's like that with a manufacturer at any scale. It's work. Gus is not gonna sleep. <laughs> Basically, there's a couple different cases that we have to accommodate when we're flashing chips. So we wanna make sure that our tool covers all of them. Are you worried about him? Him? No, why? <laughs> no, I'm not worried about him. A few days ago when we were here and I was talking about our fixtures being trash, we detrashed them. This time, much, much better. The software guys in Oakland worked really hard getting us to here where we have a, a really nice bilingual graphical interface for our testing. Huh? 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 Even the pen you get is nice. Oh, there's dough. Stickers? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> no. No? Hey, it works. I mean, it's it's, it's, a little it's off. off center, but it's still. Off center. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. We met our goal for getting alpha chips from one of the manufacturers shipped out. People are tweeting us that they got the chips, which is great. It's a good test of our relationships with our manufacturers and all of our vendors here. I had to take a picture for the dudes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>